All right, here is our video for making the axle. So the axle is circular, so we're going to be using the revolve tool. Uh, the hard part will be, first of all, getting this line to be diagonal instead of straight across like we're used to. It actually makes a smaller circle at one end than it does at the other. And then putting in the uh, notches at the end it will be sort of a new tool, something that you have not used before. So we're going to start off, I'm going to create a uh, construction line for the centerpiece. I'm going to create uh, another construction line going up. Uh, looks like it's going to be 0.2 because that's going to be the tallest height of this piece. And I'm going to just sort of sketch what this piece is going to look like as I go around it. And then from there, I'm going to then go in dimension and put in some constraints. So as we get started here, uh, start a new sketch, we'll start there. I have a construction line and it says on the directions that this is going to be 0.88 inches long. So I'm just going to make sure that I have that as a construction line. I've got that set as 0.88 and I'm going to turn off the construction to make sure that we've got this taken care of here. So now, if I take a look here, just to get a little bit of an idea, it says that from this end, I have a 0 0.05 and a 0 0.33. Adding those up, that's 0.38. So from here, this corner, to this end is going to be 0.38. So I'm going to start there by doing just a real quick little measurement, making sure that we get that in the right place. So I'm going to put the line tool making sure the construction is shut off. I'm going to go straight up. Not doesn't really matter at this point. I do know that I want this to be 0.38 from the end. And if I look at my directions, it says it has a height of 0.19 of a diameter. So I want to make sure that I divide that in half. So using my dimension tool again, I'm going to find that dimension to be 0.19 divided by 2. And so that gives me that first starting point. Now from there it has a line going horizontal. Goes over about 0.33. It goes up from there. And I'm going to click escape and just put in that measurement. That shouldn't be too difficult. So that's 0.25 divided by 2. So to measure that one, we should have 0.25 divided by 2. And then it asks us to come on out here. And if I remember right, that's 0 0.05. And we'll go up. And just putting in dimensions as we get them. But it doesn't matter if you do them right now or if you do them later. So 0.29 divided by 2 once again. And if I've done it right, the end of this line should be even with that line right there. And it looks as if it is, so I think we're okay. All right, so I'm going to keep coming around here. This line goes for a certain amount of time. And I do know that this line right here and the line going up are not collinear. This line stops a little shorter. This line goes a little bit longer, but it doesn't really tell us that line. We do know the whole thing's 0 0.08. So I'm going to go up from here. I'm going to go over that 0 0.07, and then I'll come back down. Um, I know it's going to go up to 0 0.4, and I really didn't even put that line in there. I forgot to do that, and that's okay. I think we're going to be all right with our dimensioning. So let's go ahead and put a line here. So we're going to go up, and that goes up to be point. Well, I'm going to hit escape here. Just going to click it, and I'm going to use the dimension tool because I want to dimension it from the center line. That should be point 0.2, which is point 0.4 divided by 2. And then we can go over. We got the 0 0.07 and it says to come back down so we're going to click 
at some point, well, let's take a look here. Maybe it tells us how far down it's going to come, and it does. 0 0.30 divided by 2, so we're going to put that, we'll just draw that line. Make sure to hit escape, and we'll dimension that line to be 0.3 divided by 2, which would be 0.15. All right. Now, from here, we've got some diagonal line. It does not go straight across, so we want to make sure that we put in that diagonal line here. Doesn't matter exactly where that's at yet. We will get that done here in a bit. What I'm going to do here is, as we look at this picture, I've got this diagonal line. I'm going to come up, make this shape, and then come back down to this piece here. So as I look at that diagonal line there, I'm going to put in a line here. It doesn't matter the distance. And then I'm going to go... And if I remember right, it goes all the way to the end piece here. Just to double check it, you, know, you can see that it, the line that came up and then goes to the end of the piece. So we should be all right there. I may have some pieces that aren't quite the right length, but we'll get those fixed here in just a bit. So we're going to come back down. And let's hit escape here. And let's see if we can find some measurements that might be able to help us. So the top of this line looks to be the same as this point right there. It has the top as being at 0 0.30. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to dimension this line to this line, and that's half of that. So 0.15, which is half of the 0 0.30, says that this line from here to here, now that's a tough read, but if we look at it, that's what this 0 0.01 is telling us. It's the height of that little line that's right there. So I can put that in 0 0.01. And then from there, it comes down to where the bottom of that line is the same as this line right here. So I can do that without worrying about dimensioning. I'm going to draw this line this way. And did it tell me how long that line was? It does. It tells me that this line from here to here is 0.25. So this line from here to here is 0.25. And I'm just going to go up and tell it, hey, I want you to be on the same line as this line right here. So that makes them collinear. Then from there, I'm going to go down, tells me I'm going to go down to that 0.19. So I'm not going to worry about drawing that yet because I know that that also, this one right here is also at that 0.19. So if I do this correctly, I should be able to start here and be able to see how it matches that line there. And you can see the little gray line sort of appear. And I'm going to come across, and does it say how far I need to come across? It says I need to come across 0.19. So I'm going to come across 0.19. And that should make those two collinear. I can come straight down to my center line and come straight over. I'll just make sure I get that connected correctly. All right. And from there... It appears as if I have everything constrained and all the dimensions correct. Now I can double check that with this. It says I should have, maybe this 0 0.05 isn't in there correctly. I'll double check that. That's probably where I'm missing a, a constraint or a dimension. So that should be. 0 0.05 and you can see what it did is it shortened the piece now that's not what I wanted it to do it ended up shortening some some things so I am going to hit the undo button I'm going to put it back to where it was supposed to be um, I'm going to make sure to lock this piece in place so I'm going to fix this piece right here 
and then I'm going to hit escape and click that and make that 0 0.05 and now it drug it the correct way leaving that at the correct length so we still have an entire piece that shows being 0 0.880 which is what we want that's 0 0.05 we have that as 0 0.01 we should have the rest of those all in order. So we're going to hit Finish Sketch. And I'm going to hit Revolve. And you can see that it already highlights the piece. And it's asking me what the axis is. The axis is going to be that center line. And it looks like it revolved it correctly. Click OK. And there's the piece that I want. All right. So the last thing that I want to put on here, as I look up here, is on the side on this side here that I just got done doing I need to put in this notch so it has a way of expanding and clicking onto the wheel as it as it's being put together all right so the way that this might work best is that I think okay so to get this notch into the correct place this is the side that we want it on this side is what will go into the vehicle this is the side that will be uh, sticking out of the vehicle we're going to go ahead and over here on the origin we can pick different planes and i'm going to pick this plane right here for this case the xy plane so i can turn it on and, or click on it turn on its visibility so I can see that it's on there, and it should go down the middle of the piece the way that I orientate it. If it doesn't, you can use an offset plane to be able to put it in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and put a new sketch on that. Um, one of the tools that we can use is something called Slice Graphics, and that's your F7 key. Except mine went the other way. So we'll <laughs> we will go and right-click and we should be able to slice graphics somewhere on here after we do project geometry that's what i want to do so i'm going to go ahead and project the geometry of this piece hit escape I'm hoping that i can find the slice graphics tool why it did not work on the other one so we'll hit escape here there it is so on clicking on the xy plane it asks for the slice graphics and it slices that piece directly in half for us makes it easier for us to work in the middle of this piece so i'm just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle doesn't matter the length or anything yet we'll figure out what that's got to be so as i go back to my dimensions it says it has a width of point Point zero 0.04 and a length from the front of the piece to be 0.2 so once again I'm going to do project geometry to pick the front of this piece so I know where I have want that I know that I want the dimension of this to be 0 0.04 and that I want the length of this piece from here to here to be 0.2 loads it right in there for me so I can go ahead and finish my sketch I should be able to hit extrude and I want to cut extrude and I also want it to go both directions so it cuts both ways and I can click OK and then I can go ahead and turn off the visibility of that plane again and there's the piece under ABS plastic I do believe is what this one is and a fun key color that you would like to pick. All right, so there's the piece. Good luck.